From the beginning of humankind's history, people have communicated through drawings and images. Once written language became more widespread, these visuals helped carry the folklore and tall tales of the past from generation to generation, and have become some of the best mediums to tell stories to this day. These images can now be brought from their still origins to moving masterpieces, or what society would call the world of animation. With the help of constantly evolving technology, computer programming has become extremely proficient in animating, which can be found in almost every recently animated feature to this day. Computer animating does have its limitations though, as it eliminates the ability to contain the timelessness that many others hold, such as My Neighbor Totoro and Bambi. There's a certain human quality to them that just tugs on your heartstrings that much more. Hey. There's a reason we refer to them as the classics, you know? But if you take a quick trip across the pond to Kilkenny, Ireland, you'll find that human quality in the hand-drawn and well-loved animated features that Cartoon Saloon makes. Tom Moore, an Irish filmmaker, sought to rejuvenate both his own and others' love for hand-drawn features and created Cartoon Saloon in 1998 with a handful of his animating buddies from college. Within two decades, Tom Moore has brought to life some of Ireland's oldest folklore in his award-nominated films Secret of the Kells, Song of the Sea, and Wolfwalkers. Secret of the Kells, the very first feature produced by Cartoon Saloon, tells the tale of a boy named Brendan living in the 9th century, the age of the Vikings. He is constantly wanting to see the world beyond the walls of the abbey he lives in, but his uncle won't allow him. Brendan sneaks out one day, and a magical encounter in the forest sets his life on a new path forever. Song of the Sea is the story of dealing with loss of a loved one. Ben was once excited to get a baby sister, but now blames his little sister for his mother's disappearance. The siblings end up on a journey to return home, though, once Ben finds out that his sister is dying the same way his mom had. Wolfwalkers pulls from both the ancient Celtic legends and the historical unrest between England and Ireland. This movie follows an English girl named Robin and her desire to be accepted by her father and have her freedom to be herself. In her quest, she becomes lost in the woods outside of her town and encounters the alleged Wolfwalkers, changing how she sees Kilkenny forever. Let's take a look at the thematic use of sharp shapes and flowing lines within his films. Tom Moore plays into the idea of circles and infinite shapes being a symbol of both freedom and safety for those meant to be a part of the outside world. On the contrary, those who are not burdened with the main character arc of the story often see the endless shapes as scary or dangerous, as they have no defining endpoint and fight against them actively. In Wolfwalkers, the sharp corners and edges of the barred gate and wall keep the rounded character of Robin trapped in the life that she doesn't want. The entire town is meant to look like a cage with its ability to defy the 2D landscape. Flowing shapes outside of the 2D walls match Robin's style of movement, showing that she belongs in the freedom of the wilderness that Ireland provides. The conformity of the cookie-cutter life within the walls is no place for the magic of the woods, and, in turn, for Robin. Mabe also falls into this category, where her actual defining features are all rounded and circular, minus her wolf-like fingers. When the wolf pack is seen with Mabe, their features are all rounded out, instead of sharp and dangerous as the town sees them as. The pack lives within the flowing shapes of the forest, and travel as one moving body, sweeping through the expanses of the greenery they live within. In Song of the Sea, the infinite shape of the circle is constantly used as a subtle tool to help guide Ben towards his true path of life. This rounded shape starts with Saoirse in her mother's belly, and continues to follow Ben and his little sister around the entire movie. Their journey is guided by fairies with rounded features, magical runes with flowing, swirling patterns, and even a holy well with a perfect, circular, underwater path that leads Ben and his sister to the next part of their adventure. These images and swirling patterns also embody the flowing motion of the ocean. They act as a push for Ben to confront his anger and fear of the water he once loved and accept his mother's disappearance once and for all. These circles want for him to complete his cycle of grieving, and live a good life with his sister Saoirse. In Secret of the Kells, circles are integrated when Brynden makes his way into the forest outside of the town's walls for the very first time. When he first encounters the magical spirit of Ashlyn, he greets her and her pack of wolves, which had circled him, hint hint, within a fairy ring. Fairy rings were often seen as entrances to the magic fairy world. More circles and flowing lines are introduced throughout the duo's adventure in the forest, 
and shows how enlightening the world outside of the Abbey can be. Another circle that appears is the Eye of Crom, in which Brendan uses to fill the pages of the Book of Kells. This eye is a physical representation of the enlightenment that the abbots of the land are trying to achieve, but it's frowned upon by Brendan's uncle, who does not believe that it can help their cause. The eye is later destroyed by the Vikings who raid the abbey, signifying their lack of willingness and exposure to learning the way of others. At the end of the day, each of these characters have their own unique stories and lives to live. And just like us, their growth comes full circle by the end of their story.